Hey guys, Coach Callie here, AKA the Lean Mean Mommy Machine. And I wanna to talk to you about two things that are just fresh in my head because um, I feel like <clears throat> this happens a lot with new coaches. You become a coach, you wanna save the world. It's like all of a sudden, you know, the S that's been hidden all these years opens up, okay? So let me tell you where your S lies, your Superman S or Superwoman S. It lies in your story, in your journey, um, in being able to go somewhere and somebody who's known you, say, since your children were born, to be totally blown away. And then for them to ask you what you did, and not only that, but ask you for contact information. I love it when doctors do that because, newsflash, doctors don't know everything about weight loss. They just don't because they're specialized in what they're doing. So if they're a pediatrics doctor, they're into pediatrician. Um, I probably said that totally wrong. This is why I'm not a doctor. <laughs> um, if they're into bones, they're an osteoporosis doctor, right? So they know the bones. If they're into blood, they're a chemo doc, right? Okay, so you get my drift on that. So don't be shocked, you know, anymore when somebody who hasn't seen you in a while. Actually, I take that back. Be shocked every single time. Be shocked, really. I want them to see the happy in you. Really, your story never gets old because you're constantly revolving. That's what I love about the coaching opportunity because you're in a position to constantly be changing and upgrading yourself, right? For nobody else but yourself. That's the coolest thing. And when you do that and you believe the process, everything else around you is like winner, winner, chicken dinner, okay? So, be proud of your story and be excited. And when people notice, be grateful and share, okay? The second thing, this is gonna touch home with some of you new coaches. All right, your best friend has been really, really wanting something and she sees that you're a coach, but she's talked to other coaches and that, those other coaches, you know, are like, this is what it is, this is the price, this is the best value for you, I want the best for you. And here she comes to you once you're a coach. And you do something out of the kindness of your heart, which is amazing because that's why you're a great coach, right? Because you have this huge heart and you love to serve people. But at the same time, you have to remember you're also running your business. So this is where friends and business lines get crossed. And in all honesty, if you lose a friend over this, I don't think that they were that good of a friend. You know, they should understand like, hey, you know, I, I totally get it. You, you screwed up in your business. And as your friend, I'm gonna be okay with it and I'm gonna stick with my coach that I have right now, okay? So you have that friend, you give her the stellar deal that you would never give anyone. And your reason for it in the moment is because she's your best friend. I get that, but then she leaves. And all of a sudden you have this pit in your stomach and it's just boom, boom. Like you just don't feel good at all. That's your gut. That's your gut telling you, you didn't probably make the best decision. And that's okay. Because that's what I love about the coaching opportunity is we not only are upgrading ourselves every day, but with those upgrades come failing forward. So if you yourself have been in a situation like this, where you failed forward or your best friend totally like, hey, now since you're a Beachbody coach, is there any way that I can borrow the program? And then can I just pay cash, maybe like 50% off for Shigology? And then you say yes, because you love her, she's your best friend, it comes from a place of love. But then afterwards you just don't feel well about it. That's your gut telling you that that was not a good business move. Because as her best friend, you want the best for her, right? You don't want her to cut corners because as a beach body coach, you know that when you cut corners, that's when nothing happens. You know it. You know people will come to you when they're good, daggum ready. And they'll have the money, the finances, or whatever to make it happen. And the coolest thing is when people are really daggum serious about it, they'll make it happen, okay? So, I highly recommend you do not cross those lines, okay? And if you have crossed them, evaluate yourself. How did it make you feel? 
Um, maybe that friend was the one out of 10 that actually did something about it and then she signed up as a coach and she's a rock star coach. But that doesn't happen every time, okay? Bottom line is, is if you had a friend who went to you because she couldn't get that good of a deal from the coach that she was talking, the other two coaches that she was talking to before you, there's a problem, okay? Plus, she's already got a coach. So how is this gonna benefit you in your business? As a friend, it feels good to help her out, right? Oh, it feels amazing. You want nothing but the best, but in your business, as somebody who is an entre entrepreneur building her business or his business, where do you get in it? It's a question. All right, so recap. Number one, be proud of your story. Still continue to be shocked when you go places and people haven't seen you for a while and you have these amazing results. Share your story, contact information, and don't forget to follow up with them. I highly recommend two days at the longest, 48 hours, that's all. Shoot them an email, shoot them a text. If you're, I'd love to talk on the phone. If everybody was like that, I'd just call up everybody, but not everybody is, so they're good with text and they're good with emails, so. And then second, don't mix your friends with your business, okay? It's a, there is a fine line there, all right? Um, so I hope this was valuable information for you. I know with myself and myself training new coaches, these are things that we have had to deal with head on. And um, I highly recommend that you listen to this and you reflect and you see if you've ever been in this place before. All right, guys. Well, I got a call right now, so I better go. Take care and God bless.